Hey everybody, how you doing out there? How you doing out there? Yours truly coming to you live in full effect and full effect, yes. Anyway, I want to talk about a movie, not just no ordinary film. This is a big major full-length film. This film came in around, uh, around 83, 84. Uh, the title film is called Beat Street. Now, if you don't know what Beat Street is, it's spelled breakdancing, beat boy, uh, just a lot of DJs there. Uh, big film, big major film. This was back around 1983 to 1984. A lot of actors were in this film. Uh, they gave it 6.5 out of 10, according to uh, according to one of their pages. Uh, Rotten uh, Rotten Tomatoes gave it 50 percent for the film. Uh, this came around around 84. This film. When I first saw this film, it was in the theaters. The posters. They were uh, they they promoted it in a Cannes Film Festival apparently, and at the time, and yeah, it's just as a, it's all about uh, breakdance and hip hop film, released between eighty three and eighty six. Well, anyway, they do mention it was eighty four when that film came out. The director was Stan Lantin, if I can pronounce his name. There's a bunch of actors in this film, but it uh, betrays breakdancing, breakdancing people. To, you know, just uh, it's a it was a new craze, new breakdancing stuff. Um, it was kind of it was kind of a new wave of dancing instead of the regular dancing that you're so used to seeing. Uh, you uh, these guys would be called beat boys to they spin around on the <laughs> on the floor, and they would do a lot of beat boy and the the music they would use is hip hop music, really really. Uh, really want, stuff they want to dance to really loud hip hop stuff it wasn't the hip hop he had in the early 90's so this this movie it really started it all from that point on uh, breakdancing was was the uh, thing to do and people had their big ghetto blasters and they would play this song Beat Street and it would be uh, all around the world they have it was under uh, the record label was called Atlantic Records, and they had a, uh, the album. I saw the album a couple times, uh, but yeah, Beat Street, a big, huge LP, and it says right above the, the album cover, Beat Street, and uh, a few songs were in there, uh, but it was a hip hop film. It was a bit. It says right here, hip hop found breakdancing uh, between '83 and '86. So you had breakdancing, just a lot of breakdancing. But the release dates were, it says right here, My uh, let me just give you a little info about the film itself. Uh, release date, it was in June of 8, 1984, coming from the United States. Now, it was from the South Bronx. The film was, uh, the pilot was coming from, the filming location was in South Bronx. And uh, it grossed revenue, get this, gross revenue, this when the film came out, the gross revenue was uh, 16.6 million at the time. Gross revenue. This film grossed up a lot of money there. So, yeah, the music they had was, it says here, it'll tell you, just type in Beat Street and the film or the movie. You'll get a bunch of, uh, uh, you get all images, videos, maps, uh, news. This was just the actual film, a 1984 film called Beat Street. That's the way it sounds. Uh, this is all about breakdancing to hip hop stars to everything. It's in the culture. They call it the cult. They call it the culture uh, in those days. Uh, they would have graffiti going on. The New York City area would have graffiti going on. Um, so this is about the time that '84 was a great film, and um, yeah, so '84 it was a great film. It grossed a lot of money. A lot of actors were still either around or passed away. Um, did I why did I mention this? Because it's actually uh, it's actually turning thirty six uh, th thirty six years old thirty six years of the film. And uh, for one thing, one thing it was a great it was uh, just it, the film was surrounding itself with breakdancing stuff, breakdancing to hip hop to the breakdancing. Be boy to you know, be girl and stuff like that. So it was in the it was in the hip hop uh, scene, and uh, yeah, I'll mention it here, and I'll definitely do that. So you people understand that. So yeah, so there you go, folks. 
um, Beat Street, I'll promote it here in the in the title, um, Beat Street Film, or, uh, yeah, so Beat Street Film, just Beat Street Film, 1984, big, huge film, uh, it says right here, I'm reading it right in front of me here, uh, it got six six 6.5 out of 10, uh, Rotten Tomatoes got 50% out of it, um, Basically, it was a good round, a good film. It uh, released uh, these release dates so when the films come out. Uh, 84, uh, June of 8. Um, directors, talks about the directors, tell you about the storylines. Um, it was a great, it was a, just everything to do with breakdancing. All pretty much breakdancing stuff. So, yeah. Um, so, it gave a 6.5 out of 10, a rating uh, of the film. And, uh, you guys, uh, it's a uh, drama and music. Uh, uh, an hour and forty-five minutes of the film. Uh, it's PG rated. I don't know, probably no guidance. Um, but the time, yeah, eighty-four, and um, yeah, so this is great. Uh, one lady was from uh, uh, from uh, from Canada. I forget her name, uh, but yeah, she was from Ontario. I checked her out on the pages, and uh, yeah, right. Um, Tomatoes make 50%, rating of 6, review 6, uh, and all this sort of stuff. So they're giving numbers to it, to this film. So it was a full-length film back in its day. And, um, yeah, I want to put this out as a podcast, and I'm going to put the big title, make it a big deal about it. Uh, so 84 film, 84 film, Beach Street. And I'm going to put it right for you guys. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much, people.